Hey friends, Elizabeth here from Plant-Based Bride, back again with another video. And in this week's video, I'm setting up my husband's bullet journal for July with a theme completely inspired by and in honor of self-taught illustrator Lim Heng Sui, who is a Malaysian artist who has created a series of abstract works of art incorporating cats into landscapes. And I just love their art. I find it so whimsical and adorable and wholesome. Obviously, I am a cat lady. This has been established. <laughs> <laughs> and so is my husband. We have two cats. I knew he would love this art. I knew he would find it just as adorable as I did. So I decided to recreate some of my favorite pieces from this series for my husband's bullet journal using a variety of acrylographs from Archer and Olive to get that really flat matte finish since the original artwork was digital. I'll link all of Lim Heng Sui's social media where you can find more of their work in the description box so you can go check them out. Their work is the kind that puts a smile on your face when you really need it. So it just feels like something we should be celebrating right now. Starting with the cover page, I decided to recreate two pieces of art, one on each side. So I used some washi tape to mark out squares on each page and began by filling in the background with a soft peach color. I've done my best to link the specific acrylographs that I used in the description box down below, but some of them have come from limited edition releases or subscription boxes, and some came in sets that are not currently being sold. So I've done my best to link the ones that are still available on the website. I didn't match the color scheme of these pieces exactly, but the colors I chose in general were sort of inspired by the types of colors that Lim Heng Sui uses in their art. This soft sage green I'm using right now is one of the colors from Amanda Rachel Lee's collaboration with Archer and Olive. She created a whole set of acrylographs and they're such interesting, unique colors that I was really drawn to. So I wanted to make sure to use a couple in this video. For the piece on the left, we have two mountains and there are white cats who are the snowy caps on the top of the mountains as well as white cats representing clouds. And then the piece on the right side is one large mountain in the center with some soft rolling hills in the foreground, all of which are cats, including the snowy cap on top and the clouds, of course. I was tempted to turn the sun into a cat as well, but I held myself back from the temptation. <laughs> Chewy, of course, was keeping me company as I was creating this theme. He could tell there was something cat related going on and he wanted to be involved. Once these were dry, I removed the washi tape for that nice crisp finish and used a Secura Micron to add some really simple facial features to the cats. I am having such a ridiculously busy start to my summer this year. I have to admit, I am very overwhelmed right now and very much struggling on the edge of burnout. There's just a lot going on. I'm exhausted all of the time and just trying to get through the day to day, trying to still be creative is really hard in this state as I'm sure a lot of you can relate to. So I apologize if I've been a little quieter on my various social media. I'm trying to practice what I preach and practice self care and take care of myself through all of this, which is definitely difficult but it's what I would tell any of my friends to do. It's what I would tell any of you to do if you were going through a tough time, if you were overwhelmed, if you were struggling with burnout. So I'm trying to do that for myself as well. 
I'm starting with a really simple calendar in the center and I'm going to recreate a piece in the background. Now this one, I had a really clear concept for the color scheme here that was supposed to contrast the color scheme from the cover page using the same peach as I used for the backgrounds on the cover page. But the color I chose for the second cat, which was meant to be a very warm reddish tone, ended up looking a little too burgundy for my taste. And I ended up cycling through a bunch of different options before deciding on a dark brown. And I'm still not 100% set on this dark brown, but I filled in the whole cat and I didn't want to change my mind yet again. So I just stuck with it. And I wanted to show that I changed my mind about the color in the video and just touch on it here because I feel like sometimes the nature of creating plan with me videos out of the process of making these setups means that I'm making a lot of little decisions about what to leave in and what to take out. And I end up erring on the side of taking things out usually rather than leaving them in. And I worry sometimes that that gives the impression that I always know 100% what I'm doing ahead of time, that I never make mistakes, that I'm 100% confident with the colors I choose or the techniques I try. And that is so far from the truth because every time I do a setup, I'm just experimenting I'm trying something new. I'm just going for it and seeing what happens and adapting as I go along. So just a reminder that it's okay if you end up disliking the color scheme you chose and you want to change it or you try a technique for something and it doesn't work at all and you want to start over and try something else. It happens to all of us and it's totally natural and a very common thing I think for a lot of us who are creative or artistic. These two cats on the calendar page are cuddling under the light of a full moon. Flipping to the final spread, the first page of my husband's notes pages where he does his daily logs and regular to-do lists. And here I'm recreating one final piece of art, which is a cat as a sand dune in the desert. One side shadowed because it's opposite of the sun and that shadow is in the shape of a cat. I love how simple yet effective this is. Oh, it's thunderstorming outside. I have no idea if you can hear that in the microphone. Very atmospheric. <laughs> So that's it for this setup. Super simple and adorable in my opinion. I just love Lim Hang Sui's artwork. I think it is so adorable. I also loved what they said about cats in a Bored Panda article I found about them where they said, cats for me are very mysterious animals. I like their personalities, which are always curious, calm, and relaxed. I always feel soothed when observing their postures, and I found that the curves of cats can perfectly blend into natural landscape scenes. Therefore, I decided to create a series of cat landscape artworks in which the cats play hide and seek with you inside these minimal landscape artworks. I love everything about that. As I said, I will link all of their socials, places to find them, places to see their artwork in the description box. Please go check them out. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. My plan for next week's video is to show you a full flip through of my bullet journal that I used from January through to the end of June of this year. All my spread after the pen, all the messiness of my weeklies. I know y'all love to see what my bullet journal looks like after I've used it, so watch out for that flip through next week. And with that, I'm gonna get going. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you to my patrons for your support. Y'all are the absolute best. And with that, I'll see you very soon in the next one. Bye friends.